Good afternoon. Is this on? Can everybody hear me? Okay. Good afternoon. I didn't expect that. <laughs> My name is Robert Patterson. I am president of the Student National Medical Association and also a member of the Diversity Council here at the School of Medicine. I would like to welcome you to the keynote address for our second annual Diversity Week celebration here at the School of Medicine. Before we begin, I'd like to say a few thank yous. Uh, there are many people in this room who are responsible for making this happen. First, I'd like to thank Dr. Treadwell, who is one of our deans at the school and over the Diversity Council, as well as uh, all the members of the Diversity Council, some of whom are present here today. I'd also like to thank, although I don't know if she's here, Dr. Pat Keener, who is over the Office of Medical Service Learning, and her staff, uh, Shirley Lawson, and Steve Kirchhoff. I'd also like to thank uh, people who I know are here today, the SNA membership. Thank you very much for being supporting this period of time, as well as the SOL, which is the Society of Latinos, uh, their leadership. They've been extremely, extremely instrumental. And I'd also like to thank our jack of all trades, and I know he's here somewhere, Jose Espada, who is in the back, who does everything, and he's done a tremendous job to make sure that these things happen. I'd also like to thank Chancellor Pants, uh, the IUPUI Black uh, Student Union, and uh, Susan Kennedy, who's all over the, uh, the Office of Student Life at IUPUI. It's no coincidence that we celebrate Diversity Week the second week of, of January. We do that because we'd like to honor the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., and his years of, of, of service to others. Uh, we were blessed to have him on this earth for 39 years, and I wish that we could take, take one second per every year of his life, just one second moment of silence, uh, just in his honor at this point in time. Thank you. The theme for our second annual Diversity Week celebration is the elimination of health care disparities, one student, physician, and patient at a time. And that theme is a continuation of Dr. King's dream. In 1967, uh, in the latter years of his life, Dr. King wrote a book, Where Do We Go From Here, Chaos or Community, in which he outlined in what they were called Negroes at the time, had half of the good and twice of the bad as Caucasians uh, here in the U.S. Half had substandard housing. We had half the type of, half the income level, but we had twice the unemployment and twice the infant mortality rate. While some of these statistics have changed significantly for the better, 36 years later, the infant mortality rate here in the U.S. is exactly the same for African Americans, twice that of Caucasians. As a matter of fact, in Indiana, it's actually two and a half times that. I think we're a better state than that. I think we're a better country than that. And I think there are many people in this room can make sure that we make changes in that direction. The fact is that minorities in this country in general, on every stage of their lives, die earlier, they suffer more, and they receive less aggressive treatment than other, than other uh, races. And there's a myth, a myth going around that all of these disparities are actually due to socioeconomic differences. And this simply isn't true. Another thing that we wanted to talk about today was we wanted to encourage a lot of the youth to become involved in medicine at early stages, particularly IPS students. And that's one of the reasons why SNMA has a doctor back to school program where we go out to our high schools and try to make sure that they understand at early stages of their lives that they can become physicians. And these are the reasons why the SNMA and the Diversity Council has worked so diligently all year long to make sure that this Diversity Week celebration took place. And we are exceptionally proud that our distinguished speaker has agreed to give this year's keynote address. With that, I'd like to introduce an individual who was instrumental in securing the presence of today's speaker. He did his undergraduate work at the University of South Dakota, 
He did his MD at Johns Hopkins University, where he also completed his residency program. In 1996, he became a professor of surgery and served as program coordinator for surgical residency, vice chairman, and deputy director at various times throughout his career at Johns Hopkins, where he was also a colleague of today's speaker. In September 2003, he was appointed professor and chair of the Department of Surgery for the School of Medicine.